Hi, this is Rick Adam from the Prolifics Panther Group. Today I want to talk about application modernization. We all know that eventually your application will become outdated. Technology will move on, your organization will change, but your application is still very valuable to you. This obviously begs the question, what do we do with it? And it boils down to this, leave it as is or modernize. We're not going to leave it as is. We decide to modernize. There are a number of options available to us. These are replace, reuse or rewrite. Let's look at replace. We can buy an application ready made and hopefully customize it enough so that we can still run our business the way we want. Having an application that sort of runs the way you want it to and you adapt your business to suit could sometimes work. Customizing the standard application to make it fit on the surface is a quick and cheap way of achieving our goal, but in reality it can turn into a long expensive effort that never ends because you can never get it to do everything that your current application does. So you end up changing the way you do business to suit the app. In my experience, the decision to rewrite an application is influenced by a lack of knowledge, skill shortage, desire for new technologies, not realizing the assets you already have, or a perceived rapid development. Just look back over the time spent on the existing application and realistically see how many developer, tester, production years it's taken to get the application to its current state. Don't be fooled into thinking a rewrite will be that much quicker. So, having considered all that, say we decide to stay with what we have, but modernize it. I am a firm believer in anything new we do to an existing application is to migrate it to a web-based environment. This environment allows a mix of technologies that are not generally available in the legacy system, let alone the total cost of ownership to manage that. It allows us to mix in new technologies without throwing away the old, thus removing any skill shortage we may have. We are not spending our development budget or reinventing the wheel, but using a portion of that to modernize the existing application and freeing up the budget to spend on developing new features and functionality that should increase efficiency, productivity, or new applications or new features to increase business revenues. So now let's take a look at an example modernization project. Here we have a typical sign on screen that if successful will go to the main menu. This is the main screen in the application which the user starts from. Moving the cursor over the choices, drilling down into the sub menus until eventually they get to the function they want. Now let's look at the corresponding menus in the web. Again, we have the sign-on screen, but now we are in the web environment, we can add the support for single sign-on. Navigation is really the main area where changes are needed. In this instance, we also mixed old technology with new, in that the menu presentation was written in Java and JavaScript, but reusing the current code to retrieve the menu items from the database. So now, let's take a look at some main application screens. Often in a data processing system, the application will be interrupted for the user's input before processing can continue. This in itself does not migrate easily to the more stateless web environment. Each screen can have its own navigational menu items which invoke pop-up screens for search and selecting data. It's important to note here that the user is running a dedicated process on a server. Each user is consuming a set of resources that cannot be shared. Eventually, when new users are added, the server runs out of resources and the system becomes maxed out. Back to the web screens. After we've done the migration, notice that the functionality is the same. The majority of the existing code hasn't changed but the processes have been restructured more in line with the web events. More importantly now though, we are mixing technologies, old and new, 
providing the user with a much improved user experience. An example of this is incorporating WebSockets into the application to provide functionality comparable with the old system which minimizes the impact of migrating to the web. Finally, because of this environment, the web application servers are sharing workload, making a huge improvement in resource usage and scalability. Hopefully, this has shown that there really is no need to throw away your investment, and any modernization project, either with Panther or other technologies, are possible with some design thinking.